welcome back to Generational Chic. This video is going to be a little bit different because I have had this, I guess you call it feeling or whatever, that I need to share some things to help parents who are homeschooling at this time. I have was in education for over 30 years. I retired in July of last year. I was a teacher for most of that time, but I was an administrator for the last seven. So I really, really, really have a heart and I understand the struggle that a lot of you are having trying to do homeschool. I have 13 wonderful, wonderful suggestions to help you have a successful homeschooling experience. What I want you to do is get a piece of paper and write these down and try to do as many of them as you can, okay? Alrighty, here we go. Number one, I want you to have a scheduled time for your child. Schedule a time for when they're going to get up in the morning. Schedule a time for when they're going to go to bed. Make sure it's a time that you do it every day. Children work much better when they're on a schedule. Also, number two, I want you to develop a routine for your child. When they get up, they should know they're going to brush their teeth, wash their face, take a bath, have breakfast, whatever your morning routine is going to be. Give them a routine. Every morning when children come to school, the teachers have a routine. They know they're going to put their book bag up, get their lunch, place it here, get their materials, put it on the table. It works wonderful. When they have 20 to 25 children, every child knows their routine. So at home, make sure your child knows their routine. Number three, talk to your child and talk to them and have a little meeting with them and let them know all of your expectations. If you're working at home, let them know, this is where I'll be working, please don't bother me at this time, or this is how you can ask me a question and this is what I want you to do. Just have a meeting and talk about all expectations. Teachers always have classroom meetings and they give all of the rules and, and the children understand what they can do and they can't do. You'll have to do the same thing at home, all right? The next thing, I want you to have a scheduled time for when the children, your children will start their schoolwork and when they will end it. They need to understand 9.30, you need to be at your place and working. They know their schedules at school. They know when they're going to uh, start their work. They know when lunchtime. They also have a schedule for music or when they're going to go to PE. Make sure that they understand their schedule. Number five. Make a place at your home that is going to be their workspace. It has to be a place that's not where they play, but they know it can be at a table. They should have all of their materials. They should have their books, pencils, crayons. They should have their laptop, everything that they're going to need in that workspace. And that's where they know they will sit down and do their schoolwork. Number six, they need to make sure that you are checking up on them and doing their work. Because children will, they'll go off and they'll be playing something or something, check on them and make sure that they are doing their work. Number seven, don't stress. Whatever you do, 
just kind of just sit back and if you're having a bad day or you're having a lot of work, don't stress about it. Explain to your child and just kind of let that go and start fresh the next day because all days aren't going to run smoothly and everything isn't going to be great. And if you're not having a good day, you might back off of something and say, okay, we're not going to do math today. Let's try to do uh, something a little different and just back off if you're having a bad day. Don't stress about it because it'll just make things too hard. Number eight, make time for fun and exercise. If you can, get out, walk, and um, do exercise. You know, the children are used to going to PE and things like that. Try to think of some activities where they can get out and run and have a little fun, get some fresh air if possible. That's something that is very important. Or you can just put on a, a video and do some exercises that you can find on YouTube. Number nine. Try to enjoy one another through this whole thing. You don't want to have a time where you are the mean teacher or you're always complaining or the child's always complaining. Try to make this a fun thing and something that you can enjoy. Number 10, have your child read for at least 10 or 15 minutes independently every day and maybe even as long as 30 minutes. You know, out of everything that they can do, if you can have your child read every day, I promise you that is going to be the most valuable time that they can have so that they don't fall behind. And if your child is not reading, just put on um, a read along. They have all kind of read alouds where uh, celebrities are reading books or teachers are reading books or others are reading books and let them listen to somebody reading fluently. And if you can even listen to your child read or you can read to your child, that is some of the most valuable time that you will spend. Number 11, check on all of the wonderful resources that are available to you. There's PBS, Natural, National Geographic, virtual tours. You can go all over the world. Have your child enjoying all those things. And it's so rich. There's reading instruction, there's math instruction, there's science and history all kind of resources that you can find right there on uh, YouTube and other um, resources. Number 12, more than anything, I want you to breathe. Just breathe. Things will be fine. You don't have to be the best teacher. You don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to be perfect just breathe. You know, we're all struggling. We're all trying to get through this together. I promise you, if you contact your teacher and ask them questions, they'll tell you, oh, don't worry about it, or try this, or give you suggestions. Just breathe. And lastly, more than anything, what I want you to do is just love your child. Make them feel secure. Make them feel wonderful during this time. You know, all of us having this time together, if we can come out of this just a little bit better, a little bit closer, and loving one another and appreciating each other for who we are, I promise you, we'll get through this time. Well, I hope that these suggestions have helped you. I really hope that you will do as many of them as you can. And if you need any more suggestions or you feel like I can help you in any way, please make a suggestion below and, uh, I, and you make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. Um, I would be happy to help you with any questions or anything that you have. Okay. And in closing, remember, God first. Family is love.
support, and having fun. But above all, remember to be generational chic. Bye, guys.